A North Charleston resident who filed a previous complaint against a police officer now charged with murder is speaking out. And so is the witness who used his cell phone to capture video of Officer Michael Slager gunning down Walter Scott after a routine traffic st stop. And we want to warn you that some of this video may be disturbing. Omar Villafranca has the latest from North Carolina, from Charleston, South Carolina rather. The witness who recorded a South Carolina police officer shooting an unarmed man spoke out for the first time in an interview with NBC News. I remember the police um, had control of the situation. He had control you know, of, uh, of Scott and Scott was trying just to get away from, from, from the taser. The cell video begins as Walter Scott attempts to flee and shows police officer Michael Slager firing eight times. It also shows Slager dropping something next to the victim's body. Slager is now charged with murder. Records show the officer, a Coast Guard veteran, had two other complaints during his five years on the force. One was a 2013 complaint filed by 33-year-old Mario Givens. It's like, come out the house, I'm going to tease you. So I threw my hand up, and he still teased me. Givens and his attorney expressed concern the North Charleston Police Force has a deep-rooted problem. If they had even tried to listen to me and really investigate it, that man would have probably been alive because he wouldn't have been an officer in the field. NAACP Chapter President Dot Scott says the police force needs to be more accountable to the community. What we have to do is not just to get them video, to get them convicted. There has to be consequences for the behavior of these officers. Slager is currently being held without bond. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, North Charleston, South Carolina. And seven other officers who arrived on the scene are also under investigation. And Officer Slager has a new attorney who says he is conducting his own investigation.